summarize you the education system in uh, Andhra Pradesh, so called on United Andhra Pradesh and uh, Telangana with a simple joke. But it's not a joke, but it's a real uh, satire. You know? We have something called this MSET examination for undergrad recruitment, you know, for engineering and medical, etc. So, as uh, Professor Kudan Ram said, you know, we have a lot of court reforms in, in uh, AP where these engineer, uh, intermediate students are churned churn out. Mm -hmm. Then three floors, down is the bar, next to the bar, next is the temple. Mm -hmm. No playground, nothing, they are tortured. This, this is a pre-process. Yes, pre -process. Pre -process. Pre -process. Yeah. because that's the requirement. So what happens if after the MSET in uh, June or May, the results are announced in June. So as usual, the Higher Education Council has nothing to do except only conducting the entrances. They have no other academic work, I'm unfortunate to say. They announce the results and uh, announce the first ranker, second ranker, third ranker. Uh, there are so many media organizations now, 40 channels, 50 newspapers and all. So they all rush to that first ranker's house. <laughs> Look, buddy, so thank you, congratulations. And uh, what is your message to the you know, next batch. That fellow doesn't open his mouth at all. They kept on asking for 10 minutes, they try. Tell us something, some message, you know, you're a first ranker. Then all got the fed up and they called her mom, his mother. See, madam, look, this boy we have been asking for the last 10 minutes, 15 minutes, he's not his opening, his, what is his problem? No, 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 sir, that is not his problem. Whenever you ask a question, you have to give four options. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so that's real joke. <laughs> this is actually real. I'm saying it's not a joke, but it's a real. So coming back to the, this one, we have this uh, community colleges in the US. You know, after the high school, they can get into community. We have excellent things here in India, ITIs. They were there, yeah, yeah, yeah. polytechnics. Right. They have been defunct, they have been totally demolished by this romanticization of this engineering education in America. In this part of the world, there is nothing, if a child is born, is put in uh, some English school, then he goes to Ramaya, Ilaya, Malaya, Pulaya, Chaitanya, this coaching exam, right from fifth class, mind you. Then he gets into MSET, does his engineering, goes to America, gets married. 25 is life is over. That fellow doesn't know what is music, what is fiction, what is uh, theater. I don't think Americans do that. I don't think Europeans do that. That's what I'm saying. This high school education is very comprehensive. Absolutely. It's so disgusting in this, uh, this state of especially Andhra. Unlike, you know, Tamil Nadu and uh, Karnataka, they are much better. No, it's almost, I would say, criminal to deprive these kids of their child. Absolutely, absolutely. As per the UN the Convention of Child, child Rights, yeah. as for the UN Convention of Child Rights, every aspect is the criminal activity, which is supported by the government. So, so the romanticization of America in the engineering education because the boom in software. That is one aspect. Second is. Today we say there are so many engineering graduates which I circulated, this one. How many software companies today? In Hyderabad, software companies are plug in, plug out. If tomorrow Shanghai is cheaper or Taipei is cheaper, they plug out and go there. They don't have any love for the Telangana state. Now they have, we are come to you know, love people. But unlike in Chennai, Tamil Nadu or uh, Gujarat, where equally they have brick and mortar companies. You take Tamil Nadu, all the automobile companies are in Chennai. Right. Over oh, here, oh. Uh, they were, uh, you know, willfully neglected. Yeah. Because, so, sorry, software and the attendant real estate business. Yeah. Yeah. So, where will these kids go? Except software, the, unfortunately, the mechanical fellow is going to software, the technology fellow is going to software, yeah. software yeah. fellow is into software. Biology. Where, where will they go? Even arts people go in six months of training to IT. No, that's fine. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. When there's a demand for a 2K project, it's fine. 
But you know, this kind of lopsided the policies of the government. Government cannot shun its responsibility, especially on the education and health. They have to be kicked at the back if they are not performing. So, the whole mess here in the last 20 years created by, it is the main responsibility of the government. You know, they, they are just keeping, because the most of the engineering colleges which process said, are you now owned by the politicians. Either MLA, MLA brother-in-law, MLA sister-in-law or somebody. You know. So, it's, it's a very complex situation today. I don't know where to start and how to address this system. Because in the United States of America, capitalism works perfectly. They know what is the, you know, meant by business, they do that. Survival of the fiscal, all the, you know, capitalistic principle work there. But here it's uh, unfortunate, like, we have 273,000 uh, engineering student, uh, seats available. But there are only 80,000 uh, so students are writing exam. And now this year also, unfortunately, the Telangana government is conducting the test. It doesn't define all market principles. In any way, it's, it's absurd. So, so I think definitely we are also here, so civil society is trying to give a, some direction to the government. Whether they listen, they don't listen, of course, we have to make our pressure. But also, like other friends said, people like you from America, and it's always also, you know, Agora telling, they listen you. Uh, mm -hmm. It's not that, you know, you, you don't have staff or something. But people like you who have passion for Telangana, like you, there are so many, you know, distinguished people in all uh, areas of uh, engineering or education, social sciences. Probably I request uh, you and uh, also talk to Sudhi that there should be a pressure group from your side also. Look, something is going wrong here. We want to help you. How we can help you? You know, we are actually don't do, you didn't ask our help, but I said we are feeling bad. We are feeling for our uh, you know country back. So that's why you know we are passionately coming back and telling you, can I help you? How do I help you? So probably if you could, I mean, I'm, you know, busiest you know despite your busy schedule. Yeah, you know, give that, us a time. that is the plan. This is just uh, only. Yeah. Starting. No, I'm requesting. All these, uh, whatever we have done, let's see, interviews are talking to press. Yeah. This is just to let them know if yeah. they at all read the paper, they know that something happened. Mm. Yeah. But the next step is actually find ways to connect. That's right. To whether it's uh, Karim Srihari or you to Kesir. Kesir. So, Kesir. Yeah. Sorry, you, 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 are, uh, you, you remember, sir? The famous letter of Abraham Lincoln to his son's teacher. The word exactly, you know, you make person to think. Yeah, yeah. Analytic. Be creative. Be on his own. There is nothing of this sort. Which is very, very pathetic. And we feel sorry for our kids. Yeah. We're sorry for our kids. So... I think a couple of things. Go ahead. Yeah. No, I think I thought I would uh, make... So, however, from one of the different organizations, we are trying to submit a uh, agenda paper to the government of Andhra Pradesh, uh, Telangana, sorry. On higher education in Telangana, of course, uh, not so much on engineering, because in engineering we don't have much of uh, you know, expertise or this one, but this is the first meeting in the direction. But on uh, social science, arts and the pure sciences, we are doing that. The other dangerous thing happening now in this state is total exclusion of education. Mm -hmm. Government schools, 97% people who go there are SCSTBC. Okay, this, this is a major thing, but I don't know how we can do it. <coughs> no, 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 I'm sorry, just saying, throwing up the points. So as a result, what is happening, that, that's totally different world. You know, 40, 50 years back, we used to have this Arjun Vada, I know that they don't, but it is happening now. It is happening. And uh, elites go to so-called, you know, public school, which is private, unfortunately. You know, see the terminology in this country. See, in banks, the the, the Deccan Chronicle can achieve 600 crores. Bank, but what bank says it is non-performing asset. But when a loan, uh, this farmer fellow takes 1 lakh rupee, 
is a defaulter this fellow doesn't pay he is a useless guy he is, is a you know he is a defaulter but when that guy is defaulting 600 crore they say non performing asset now i am saying how this terminology is coined to this it's a public school but it's not it's a totally private school so that exclusion stream is going up to the university that what you said pre processor processor and pre post processor also they have already come today in the usman university unfortunately minus engineering again same situation totally exclusive uh, students first generation students who are here i don't know what they are doing professor kurnam should know much better than me it is a very pathetic condition and a comment i don't know what i i say is also that the government present government should spend more time in planning there is no point in you know kg pg i will start like a dosa tomorrow no that is won't work like that yes, slogans don't work uh, satavana yeah. or kakatiya mission it's not a you know laying a pipeline in a uh, colony all the you know uh, lakes cherulanne uda nashanam pattichar vile okka cheru kuda neeku వాది ఆకర్మణ లేకుండా లేదు హైదరాబాద్ నుంచి పెట్టి వెళ్తే పోయింది నా చేతులు లేదు ఊళ్ళో మన ఊళ్ళలో కూడా ఏడు ఉన్నాయి చెరు సరే ఐఎమ్ డైగ్రెస్ ఇన్ ద పాయింట్ సో దీస్ ఆర్ ద సమ్ ఆఫ్ ద పాయింట్ సార్ విచ్ ఐఎమ్ బ్రింగింగ్ టు యువర్ నోటీస్ ఫ్రమ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇన్ అమెరికా ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఆఫ్ తెలంగాణ ఇన్ అమెరికా ప్లీజ్ యూ మస్ట్ అసర్ట్ అండ్ ఆల్సో టెల్ దిస్ వి అవర్ గవర్నమెంట్ మరో దిస్ గవర్నమెంట్ నెక్స్ట్ సెవెన్ బట్ వీ ఆర్ టెలింగ్ ఆల్ దిస్ విత్ అ గుడ్ ఇంటెన్స్ బికాస్ వీ లవ్ తెలంగాణ all these years we have been blaming andhra fellow right no that fellow is gone this, this fellow is gone that but now it's our own government so now i have no more uh, to blame anyone so with a good intention as a civil society society fellow i think we must all exert pressure on this government for doing all this nonsense can you start to use this word but so far it appears to be is all <coughs> going uh, nothing you know in a right direction sorry no for taking this